Flea market time! I scored two Longchamp pieces at incredible prices. Hi and very welcome! My name is Mary, this is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. Some of you love my flea market content which really makes me happy but most of my viewers seem to be not that interested in it because they do not even click on those videos. I think it's fair, if you're not interested of course you don't have to watch. But probably I will keep doing these videos because some of you are really curious to see the bargains I hunt down. And maybe even more important, I highly enjoy to film these videos because I am really passionate about thrifting and flea markets. So whenever I scored something great, probably I will keep you updated with a video. A few days ago I went to a night flea market, which took place in a nightclub. and I was quite debating with myself whether or whether not I'm going to vlog because it would have been really a fun event to do so. In theory it is, as I already said, at a nightclub there is music and drinks and mostly young people and therefore a lot of trendy clothing and accessory pieces. Way more than you usually find at a flea market that takes place in the morning. <laughs> I did film some impressions but not really a vlog and I did not even try vlogging because as soon as we arrived I was completely overwhelmed. The past two years for obvious reasons I tried to avoid huge crowds of people and events that took place inside and for some crazy reasons the German government decided that since April it is not required anymore to wear a mask for events inside. Of course you can still wear a mask which is what I was doing. But since these night markets are mostly events for young people and it seems like quite some young people don't care too much that it is not just about their own health but they bring older people and people with chronic illnesses to a risk when not wearing masks potentially spreading the virus and possibly infecting family members and friends after such an event. Unfortunately many people didn't wear a mask and it made me feel quite uncomfortable. It was so crowded and I just did not expect that I would see that many people without masks. The flea market took place in different rooms. And some were more crowded than others. And of course we just tried to avoid the fullest rooms and tried to go into one or another room when there were somewhat less people inside. Nonetheless I was completely overwhelmed and I had enough struggles with not mentally freaking out because of all these people around me so I was really not in the mood to actually vlog the whole experience for you. When it comes to the selections of sellers and items I would say it were 99% women, 95% clothing and accessories and mostly young people so that even with being in your 40s at that market you would have already been one of the older people. Therefore there was quite a lot of fast fashion because not all young people can afford branded stuff but with many young people being a lot into fashion and trends there was a lot of branded items as well. But with the people there being way more aware of trends and brands and prices and worth it's not that easy to score such great bargains at a night market like that. And that's why even with all of these trendy people concentrated at one place I still prefer my regular flea markets with grandpas and grannies and the opportunity to score some real vintage stamps. Nevertheless I have been successful at the night market and I bought four pieces, two of them bags, two of them from Longchamp. Yeah, let's get into this. 
But let's start with my biggest disappointment. This Ted Baker blush pink zip purse bow wallet. It is real leather. I was super excited when I found it since it has the same dimensions as the Zippy Coin Purse from Louis Vuitton. Maybe you know that I purchased the Zippy Coin Wallet before the latest price increase and then I ended up returning it because mine had terrible quality issues. So right now I don't own a Zippy Coin Wallet and I thought with getting this Ted Baker dupe of the same size, I could find out if I really need a small wallet of that size in my life. I like the design, I think it's cute and girly with the bow and the rose golden hardware and the blush pink. The seller asked for 10 euro and I negotiated and ended up paying 8, which of course is a steal, but unfortunately, not sure if the camera will pick it up, but it is way more used than I thought it would. It shows quite some signs of wear and when I bought it, I didn't notice that at all, probably because there was more of a launch lighting situation going on than actual lights to see very well. If you're interested, we could make a little video where I try to clean this wallet up and refurbish it and maybe I can get it back to life. I want to try out some stuff with cleaning and leather care. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you would like to see it or if I should do it on my own and you don't, you don't care for it. It's not that bad because I only paid eight euro, but it's kind of another con of these night markets. You might not even be able to see all the flaws an item has because it is so dark there and you will only notice them as soon as you're at home. So let's stay in the range of wallets. I bought another one and this one, maybe some of you can recognize it by the bamboo detail. It's not Gucci, but Longchamp. This exact style in the red mock croc leather is currently not sold anymore. It matches my nails perfectly though. But the shape of this wallet with the bamboo buckle seems to be a Longchamp classic called Rousson and it is still available in different colors at Longchamp. The seller asked for 20 euro. We agreed at 18. The retail price is 200. And the condition of this wallet overall is very good. Only the little silver bamboo detail is somewhat tarnished in places, but depending on how the light hits, it looks like a reflection or even a design detail of the bamboo. So I don't mind. And I think it was a very good deal for a Longchamp wallet. Next up, we have a bag that to me, it looks like something completely different than it is. I'm going to show it to you and I guess you won't be able to guess what brand this is. This bag is so well made and it looks so high quality to me. It immediately catched my eye. And when I found out the brand, I was kind of surprised because I expected it to be something more expensive. It is Fossil. The style is called Finley and the color Wild Rose. The retail price of that bag probably was around 250 euro. I love the color, I love the leather and the suede with this golden buckle detail. And to me, this bag looks really sophisticated and more expensive than it even was at retail. And I scored this bag brand new, never used, with tags for only 27 euro. We already made it to my last purchase. Well, at least from that flea market. I do have another little bonus one from another flea market that I want to show you as well, because it's that cute. But my last purchase from the night market was yet another Longchamp piece, a bag, the Les Pliages Filet, which funny enough, I had on my radar to get brand new. I already had it in my cart ready to check out the week before the flea market, but I was searching for a coupon code because I didn't want to pay full price on it. And since I couldn't find a coupon code, I ended up not buying it. And <laughs> now I found it at the flea market. I initially discovered that bag through a review from Freya Johanna. She is another German YouTuber that does English content and she's really a lovely girl and we do plan to collab one day. Of course, I will link her review video of that filet bag in the description box. She got the cream version and she really hooked me. She really influenced me with that bag. And I'm so happy for that coincidence that 
Just a week later, I found it at the flea market. Regular retail is 85 euro. I don't remember exactly if the seller asked for 35 or 30. I negotiated and <laughs> I ended up paying only 25 euro for that bag. To be honest, usually 25 euro for a sack net bag at the flea market would still feel like quite a lot to me on the flea market, where I tend to usually spend only a few euro. But this is a Longchamp bag and I had it on my radar, nearly purchased it for the regular price. So this is just an amazing deal for me. If you are interested, oh, there is a hair. <laughs> if you are interested in that bag, we can take a closer look in a full review video. The seller I bought it from told me that she already bought it about two years ago, but it is still available. Johanna bought hers only a few weeks ago in the cream color. So maybe if you're interested to hear my take on that bag, we can cover that in a review video. If I think it's worth the regular retail price of 85 euro. If you would like to see that, just let me know down in the comments and I'm happy to film that video. We finish this one with a find from another flea market. That is just too cute to me to not show it to you. Of course. It is this little notebook from Kenzo with poppy flowers all over it. It has never been used. Probably it was a freebie that came with some kind of Kenzo perfume, but I only paid 50 cents and I think it's just adorable and definitely worth it to me. What was your favorite piece from my last flea market finds? Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time and bye. Favorite cream to... I just realized, uh, I guessed how much this bag would cost and I thought it would be around 250 euro. And here is even a dollar price. Come on, focus. 258. 58? 85. 258 dollar. <laughs> My balayage already starts to look like dark roots. <laughs> I think I'll never go blonde again. It's too much maintenance. I will recommend two videos for you to watch next. My quality issues with the Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin Wallet are another one of my flea market vlogs.